Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. My name is Melissa. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I am doing a super exciting video today, or at least I feel like it is super exciting. I am doing my very first ever collaboration. I am collaborating with May or Miss Leva here on YouTube. And we are doing a collaboration on four different looks or four different occasions, four different looks for four different occasions and which one of our bags we would pair with that look. Now, I do wanna say before I get into it, I didn't do go into depth on my jewelry. I decided to leave that part out because I don't want this video to be too, too long, but definitely can accessorize the way that you want. And I, I'm pretty sure May is gonna go into jewelry because she really, really loves jewelry. So that will be a little something different. If you are here from May's channel, welcome thank you so much for stopping by i really appreciate it if you guys like this video then please subscribe it helps me out a ton and if you guys are coming from my video over to may's video then please give her a shout out say hi to her let her know that you are coming from my my channel okay so if this is a video that you think that you'd be interested in then please just keep on watching So my first outfit is wedding attire. Now, wedding attire could be casual, semi-casual, semi-formal, formal, and black tie. I'm sure there's a couple more dress occasions in there that I don't know about, but I decided to go for a more semi-casual outfit. So it is dressed up, it's not super casual, but it is on the more casual side. I decided to do that because I wanted to do something that you guys can probably pull right out of your closet and give you guys some inspiration. Most weddings, at least in my experience, are semi-formal or semi-casual. Most of them are not formal and most of them are not casual. They're kind of in that middle realm. So I thought that you guys could relate to this outfit a lot. So I am wearing a pair of Express pleated shorts in this beautiful mint color. I just recently bought these, so I will link them down below for you guys. I'm wearing mine in a size eight. There is a little bit of extra room, but I would not size down at all. I think that they fit perfectly. The only time you can really tell that there's extra room is when I pull on them. And then I am wearing a mint blazer that matches it perfectly in a size medium. Again, I feel like the size fits perfect. For reference, I am five foot six and I weigh about 155 pounds. Actually, to be exact, this morning I was 157 for those of us who are nosy. But um, I thought that this fit perfectly on me. I did pair it with my green Bottega bag. I love the way the green bounced off of each other, different shades of green. I used to hate monochromatic looks, but now that I'm starting to get into it a little bit. I like the monochromatic looks with different shades of the same color. So I thought that that was really pretty popping that bright green off of that mint green. Now I did originally buy a satin, beautiful satin uh, cow neck tank to wear with this outfit, but it did not get here in time. So I paired it with a white camisole and I think that it fit or it worked out just as well. If I were to wear that purple tank i might still pair it with my green bottega bag but my original thought was to pair it with this bottega pouch bag here just imagine it white heels green outfit this beautiful blue popping off of that mint green i think that that would be absolutely stunning but i do like the way that the outfit came together in the end and I think that it worked out great. Now I did pair this outfit with a pair of shoes that I had for my wedding, which are these beautiful shoes right here. I bought these for my wedding and ended up wearing tennis shoes, but I think that they are stunning and I'm glad that I have them in my wardrobe because they definitely make a staple, especially when you're wearing something like some shorts, like I was wearing in this outfit here. Okay, so my next outfit I actually struggled with. It was a business casual outfit. Those of you guys who know me or have been watching my channel for quite a while now, you know I do not own or I do not work or put myself or I'm not involved in a business casual setting ever. 
I don't work in a business casual setting. I work in a very casual setting. I've never worked in a business casual setting. So this one I struggled with a little bit. Now I did have some ideas, you know, the typical pantsuit, blazer, pencil skirt, button down tee, but I wanted to do something a little bit different and I felt like this dress was fitting for the occasion. So this green emerald dress is from Calvin Klein. I got it a couple of years ago. It has buttons that go all the way down so you can button it up to as high as you want it to. It does have a collar on it and it has fairly long strings that you can tie up. And I feel like this dress is very appropriate for the office. I did wear it with my Schutz clear strap sandal heels. But if I had a pair of nude pumps, I probably would have worn that. I don't feel like open-toed shoes are appropriate for the office. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't work in that type of an environment. But if I had that, I definitely would have worn closed-toed pumps with it. Probably a small little heel, pointed-toe heel, or maybe even a small little block heel. And then I paired it with my Pochette Matisse which I feel like is the perfect bag to pair it with. It looks like a little luggage case, which I imagine would be perfect for the work setting. And it also fits a ton. So I can fit all of my work essentials in here. Of course, you can't fit a laptop, but I assume if you're working in the office, you probably have a lap or a computer at your office already. And I thought that the outfit worked out beautifully together. Now I probably will wear this outfit at some point in time because I loved it that much. Okay, so my third outfit and maybe one of my favorite occasions to dress up for is date night. So I love to go on dates with my husband. Most of you guys know I have six kids here at home and it's really hard for us to be able to both go out on a date night. We probably only go on a date I'd say about once a month and when we do we really like to try out a new restaurant that we've never tried before or try a restaurant that is you know one that we really 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 enjoy but most of the time we like to try somewhere new and i still love to get dressed up for my husband let me know you married women out there do you guys still like to get dressed up for your husband i know a lot of my friends tell me they've been married for 10 plus years and they're like no we don't go on dates anymore we don't get dressed up anymore we don't do anything together anymore. And I just think that that is so sad. I don't ever want that to be our case. I still really like to surprise my husband with a very beautiful outfit that I liked, or I like to see his reaction to the way that I look. Um, but we still go on date nights. We've been married for two years, so we're newlywed, or at least I consider that to be newlywed. And we've been together for five years. So I think that because we've been together for five years, we still love to get dressed up for each other. We still like to go on dates and we still like to look good for each other. That's still, that's a pretty good sign in my book. But this outfit that I chose is this white dress. It is beautiful. It's one of my favorite dresses, but I've never worn it out. And that's because I am a no fuss girl. This dress is an off the shoulder dress and it's kind of short. So I'm constantly pulling up, pulling down, pulling up, pulling down. So because of that, I haven't worn it out, but I'm gonna make a point to wear it sometime this coming up weekend, because I really do love it. Every time I put it on, I really feel like a million bucks. I like the shape of it. I like that it minimizes my chest. It cinches in at the waist and then it flows out. I also love my husband's reaction in this dress. I chose to pair it with my Schutz shoes again, because they make your legs look long and thin. And then I also chose to pair it with my newest bag, which is my YSL Small Lulu in the white with the silver hardware. I think that it paired up super nice. I love the small compact size, but it still fits a ton in there. So if I'm going on date night, I need to bring my lipstick. I want to bring my perfume. I want to bring, of course, my wallet and my essentials. But I like to bring those couple little extra things so I can spritz myself and just you know, liven up the, the mood and keep the romance going when I'm there with my husband. Are you guys the same way? Do you like to bring your lipstick and your perfume when you go on date nights with your husband? Let me know down below. Okay, so before I tell you guys about my last outfit, I just wanna quickly remind you guys to go check out Miss Leva's channel. 
I will link it down below as I mentioned before. Anything that's new that I've mentioned, I will make, or I will um, put it down below for you guys. Most of these outfits are from my closet, so they're not new outfits. But anything I can find, I definitely will put it down below for you guys. I also am curious, what are your favorite go-to date night outfits? If you have any photos of your favorite date night outfits, please tag me on Instagram. I'm gonna put my hashtag right here on the screen. I love to look up your guys' outfits and see what you guys wore. Okay, so the last outfit is brunch with the girls. Another occasion I like to get dressed up for. I really like to get dressed up for any occasion at all. I work in a very casual environment, so anytime that I can get dressed up, I want to get dressed up. And brunch with the girls is no exception. So, I picked out this I blouse. Express. They do have um, the same style of blouse in different prints on Express right now. So I will link some of those down below. And dare I say, I think I like the prints that they have out now more than the prints that I have, or than the print that I have on here. I do own this top in two different colors and I love it. I think it's very, very flattering on my shape. I have had five kids come out of my body. Now, if you're new here, you just heard me say I have six kids at home and then five kids come out of my body. So I have four kids. I birthed five. I had a daughter that I gave up for adoption. And then I had four more kids. And then my husband has five kids. So five kids plus four kids equals nine kids, three of which are grown. So six of them are still here at home. So I've had a little bit of a mom tom and that top is very, very flattering. I feel like it minimizes my chest. Again, I don't like to accentuate it. It's big enough and it has the spaghetti strap, which I love. It shows the decolletage and it cinches in at the waist and fluffs out so you don't see that little bit of extra skin that I have from my mom tom. And I just feel really good and womanly and flattering and beautiful in it. Also, if I'm eating, perfect top. Am I wrong? Flowing out, eating, perfect. And then I paired it with a white pair of jeans, which I'm actually wearing right now. These are my most comfortable white pair of jeans, but I am on the hunt for another pair of white jeans. So if you guys have any in mind, please link them down below for me. I am currently checking out the ones at um, Abercrombie, but I'm waiting for a sale. So I want a pair of white jeans, that are not necessarily stretch, somewhat stretchy, but not really stretchy, the stiffer jean material, because I feel like those are a little bit less see-through, and a skinny jean. I don't want a flare-out jean. <clears throat> Excuse me. These ones flare out at the bottom, so I need something a little bit more skinny. And then also high-waisted. Most of my jeans are mid-rise, and now that I've gained a little bit of weight, I want a more high-waisted pant. Anyway, back to the outfit. I have on these white jeans, which I feel like matches perfectly with this top. And then I wore it with my Schutz sandal, or yeah, sandals again. They're just perfect for the spring and summertime. They match everything. They have a clear band, and then they have a three, I think it's three and a quarter inch heel, so not too crazy. I don't go any taller than that. Three and a quarter inch is pushing it for me. I actually like to stay in between the two and a half to three inch. That's what's perfect for me. Less than two and a half, I feel like you're going into grandma territory, but they're so comfortable. I do have some that are less than three inch heels, but those shoes are just very, very flattering. They elongate your legs and they match everything because there's no true color to it. The heel on it is nude and the strap is clear. And then I decided to pair that outfit with my pochette Matisse again. I feel like that outfit can go with any of my bags, but I've been neglecting my pochette Matisse and I wanted to bring her out. So I don't know if you guys are this way at all, but in my mind, when I have something that I want to wear, I wear it, I make it work, I make it match. So I paired it with my pochette Matisse because I've been wanting to take this bag out. I haven't taken her out in a little while and her neutral undertone really looks well with her, with the outfit I was wearing, and I liked the white, even with this outfit, I think it'd be absolutely stunning. And then you have that little tiny pop of gold here, 
and gold in the back there. All right, guys, that is all of my looks. I hope that you guys enjoyed them. Please don't forget to tag me in any of your looks that you guys create or anything you want me to see at all. I really do like to see your guys' stuff, as I mentioned. Please go over to May's channel and watch her video. I am so excited to see her video. Our style is somewhat similar, but also different. Like I have more of an edgy style. She has more of a classy style. I feel like she's a little bit more conservative than I am and I'm a little bit more bold with my colors. She's a little bit more conservative with her colors. She does have a very similar haircut to mine and she is similar ish in size so may is five foot three and i believe she says in her videos she weighs about 150 pounds i am five foot six and as i mentioned this morning i weighed 157 so we are similar in height and build but she is working out and she's got an amazing amazing figure i'm not working out and i've had kids come out of my body so i still have an amazing figure though i like my body i appreciate my body for all that it's done for me I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun creating it for you guys. But until next time, bye guys.